Hello guys, today we are going to test our play billing library version 4. For this testing, I am using Android Studio, Bumblebee version and uh, two emulators, one with Android 12 and another one with Android 11. And uh, I have also added my email address inside the license testing in Play Console. And uh, also I have created uh, two products inside subscription in Play Console with product ID 01 add subscription and 02 add subscription. So for testing purpose, we first uh, have to add these uh, IDs inside the string resources. So I have added it here, 01 adds a subscription and 02 adds subscription. And uh, that's a uh, test it on emulator. So I'm opening my emulator. Okay, so let's begin our testing. We will test uh, these uh, four things in our play billing library. Number one purchase flow, then multiple device purchase sync. We will see both type automatic sync and uh, manual sync we will see how to handle outside purchases we will see the expiration of purchase handling so let's uh, begin so so let's begin with android 12 here i have opened my app and uh, subscribe here button now it is showing me that we have uh, two subscriptions available so let's uh, try to purchase first one it start loading and it give me two card test card which always approves and uh, another one test card which always declines so so first test with test card which always declines and uh, click on subscribe button it start processing and it shows uh, as that decline by test instrument now let's again try to buy first subscription and this time I am going to select test card with always approves. Now when I click on subscribe button it start processing the request and it subscribed successfully. It also was toast that the purchase acknowledged successfully which is very important step in the process of subscription. When, we, when I dismiss this dialog then we can see that the first text box or text has been changed it is now you are a prime user for item 1 and the status box or status text also shows, shows that uh, one subscription purchased now let's come on to our another device which is android 11 here uh, i am going to clear the data of this app so that it would be like a fresh install or first time install and i have cleared its data so now uh, when I open it, it will be like uh, the opening for the first time. So I click on it and you can see that you are a premium user for item 1. It automatically synced uh, subscription of this user across both devices here in Android 11 and here in Android 12 as well. At both places it is saying you are a prime user for item 1. So we have covered these are two steps purchase flow our purchase flow is working properly and multiple device purchase sync is also working properly now we will see outside purchases sync so what is outside purchases means uh, when user is using uh, is already using our app in both devices and when he or she purchase any subscription in first device then uh, it will be a case of outside purchase for the second device in that case uh, we need to use the sync purchases button so let's try to purchase second subscription in android 12 we click on subscribe here button now when i try to purchase this first subscription again then it is showing you are already a premium user for item one that it is preventing me from purchasing a single item multiple times now let's try to purchase the second one click on buy button test card is already selected subscribe and it start processing and it subscribed and acknowledged successfully here we got the toast, toast of acknowledgement now let's uh, dismiss this uh, dialog and you can see that you are a prime user for item 2 as well and the status uh, text is also changed that both subscriptions purchased so let's come on to our android 11 and here if i close the app and reopen it 
it only fetches the details of first subscription not the details of second it is because it uh, improves our performance when is uh, means it only uh, fetch the details of necessary item and it never fetches the details of unnecessary items so in that case in the case of outside purchases when user click on this sync purchase button then when user click on this button it will show us an alert that this will restart the app and when we restart it it fetched the second subscription as well okay guys so our both subscriptions and is syncing between devices are working properly so we have covered all these three steps now only this expiration handling is left so let's go to our play store inside payments and subscriptions and subscriptions we can see that our first subscription will expire at 5 9 pm and second subscription will expire at 5 27 pm so I will be back at 5 9 and 5 27 p.m. and will show you what happens after expiration of these subscriptions alright guys so it is uh, 5 13 p.m. and now let's test the expiration of our first product so when I open the app it is showing me our prime user for item 1 and item 2 and both uh, text box are uh, still showing that we are a prime user but it should expire uh, first text box but our first subscription should expired so why it didn't work it didn't work because uh, when we see the subscription status when we see the subscription status inside subscription then you can see that our subscription is automatically updated because uh, during test subscription play store provides us uh, six uh, automatic uh, subscription generation means our subscription is automatically renew here you can see that it uh, our subscription is uh, renewed and uh, the next uh, expiration time is now 5 24 pm and our first uh, uh, our second subscription which we bought for the first time is still will still expire at uh, 5 27 pm so how can we prevent its renewal and how can we check its expiration so it is very simple we can cancel our subscription from here and it is loading and decline to answer continue cancel subscription we have cancelled our first subscription so it will expire at 5 24 pm and uh, let's also cancel our second product subscription so that it also expire at 5 27 pm and doesn't get renew so cancel our subscription now we have cancelled our both subscriptions and we will see the changes at 5 27 okay guys so it is 5 25 pm now and now let's see the status of our subscriptions so when i open the app it is showing that you are a premium user for item 2 and our first subscription is expired and it is perfectly uh, synced and updated as well ok guys so it is 527 pm now and let's see the status of our second subscription as well so i have closed the app and open it again and you can see that all subscriptions are expired we got the toast of expiration of all subscriptions and uh, both text view also got updated and uh, we have successfully handled the subscriptions expiration so also check the status of uh, subscription in android 12 so that i so let me open the app and here here the both subscription is updated both and we got the text all subscriptions are expired so it is working perfectly in android 12 as well and when we open it again it is showing us not a prime user for item 1 not a prime user for item 2 we have successfully purchased our subscription renewed it and uh, handled the expiration of this subscription also we tested it in uh, android 12 device uh, which is the latest version of android device okay guys so we have successfully tested our labeling library version 4 it is the latest version of library available in the market and for the implementation purpose uh, we have already created two videos three 
which I have uploaded on my channel you can check out the implementation step is uh, exactly same as the play Within library version them out I will provide the link of the implementation videos in the description of this video so hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching me bye